Here in Indianapolis tonight, the City County Council just approved the 2025 budget for the city. Within the last few hours, the councilors gave it the green light, but not without some pushback. In fact, there were nine councilors that voted against the budget. Our Marion County reporter Lauren Costick now explains why. After years of overwhelming support, motion carries 16 yeas, 9 nays. The city's 2025 budget passed Monday night, but with unprecedented bipartisan pushback. Nine councilors voting against it, six Republicans and three Democrats, questioning the budget's process and the city's priorities. And, and I just think at this point, maybe it's time to try something new. This maybe. body is not just to be a rubber stamp. And what we continue to do doesn't seem to be working. The mayor's more than one $1.6 billion budget largely focuses on public safety, with the largest chunk dedicated to IMPD. NDDPW also receiving a boost, now getting $246 million. However, some question whether that's enough to fix our roads. And this budget locks in the fact that they are going to get worse. Last month, Councilor Josh Bain introduced an amendment to reallocate funds to improve roads and bridges, something that failed in committee. But it's a main reason why all six Republicans voted against the budget. This budget has woefully underfunded things like infrastructure within our city. Indy's Black Church Coalition also voicing concern Monday, saying the budget lacks critical funding for education, housing and poverty. Reasons Councilors Carlos Perkins and Renee Allen went against others in their party. This overall budget disproportionately falls sh short in addressing urgent needs. However, 16 councilors disagreed, voting in support. We all live in this city, we all love this city, and we're all working really hard to make it a better place. In a statement, Mayor Joe Hogsett said, despite ongoing labor negotiations and a year of tight revenue growth for the city and county, this 2025 budget shows our support for our employees and the important work they do each and every day to serve residents as well as continues to fund successful city programs that we know are making Indianapolis a better, safer place for all. And this approved budget will go into effect next year on January 1st. At the City County Building, Lauren Costick, 13 News. Thank you, Lauren. The council also signed off on a proposal aimed at ending street takeovers in our city, but they did make some changes to it. So under this revised plan, organizers and other people that are taking part in spinning incidents would face up to $1,000 in fines for a first offense. That amount then goes up to $2,500 if a person violates that ordinance again. Also, cars used in the events would be impounded for at least 30 days. Decision 2024 now, early voting now just hours away here in Indiana, and now poll workers for the general election are getting a raise. The City County Council approved the plan tonight, so here it is. The pay for absentee voter board workers is going from $11 an hour up to $15. Election Day clerks will now get $180 a day. That's up from $100. And Election Day inspectors are getting a boost from $200 a day up to $240. $40. So now let's take a look at everything you need to know if you're going to head out to cast your ballot here in Marion County. Tomorrow, the polls at the City County Building will open at 8 o'clock in the morning and stay that way until 5 at night. There are some changes, however, to be aware of this year. For the first time, Marion County residents can come to the CCB Building every single day, but the hours do change and they flex a bit, so make sure you check online before you go. And then later this month, on October 26, you'll have more location options. That's when the satellite sites and the voting there starts. Make sure when you go, you take your ID. And then, of course, the general election day is coming up on November 5th.